Oh, hey, YouTube. Today I'm doing another video and it's gonna be on what's in my hospital bag, but I'm gonna be bringing snacks, my husband, so I hope you find it useful. So first I'm gonna be starting off with the snack bag. This Kate Spade, it is a, my baby bag that I got from my mother-in-law. But for the hospital use, I'm gonna be using it for the snack bag. First up, water bottle for me. Water bottle for my husband. It's essential. More drinks. Body armor. This is my husband's. This one is berry punch for me. Uh, they say that natural uh, flavors and sweeteners, a lot of electrolytes, so that's why I'm gonna be bringing these. These are the chips we picked out. Chili and lime flavored salitons. Yum. I got a little carried away at the store and I got three different types of candy. Essential. Sour. Sweet and chocolatey. And then, for like a little bit more solid protein, we're gonna go with the dark chocolate almond with sea salt cliff bar. And peanut butter and honey with sea salt. Also got some little bite blueberry muffins for some carbs to kind of absorb everything. Honey sticks, I learned or saw that these honey sticks you can eat for energy before, after, during. So I bought a bunch. Next is my bag. Another Kate Spade bag. Good material. I'm not sponsored by them, but hit me up. So I brought this bag and I chose this bag because of the material. It's nylon and just easy cleanup. It's gonna be in the hospital. There's a lot of germs in the hospital. Easy wipe up. That's why I got this one. First, my shoes, slip on shoes. I got a size bigger just in case my feet swell. So, slip on shoes are a must. My makeup bag. This, it's so cool. It just opens up like that. And, yeah, all the stuff that could crack, my eyeshadow, blush, uh, foundation, all in here so that it's safe just in case it does crack. Um, it's all protecting my stuff that's in here. And got my face moisturizer, my spongy, mascara, because I want to be looking pretty decent after during, before, all of it. So, mascara, mascara, mascara. Then, all my brushes. I got some hair ties in here, and lip balm that is tinted, really cool. Palettes, and then tinted sunscreen, Honest Beauty, really nice. It actually works really well, it actually covers like foundation for me. So if I'm too lazy to put on foundation, I'm definitely just gonna use this. Touch ups, especially if I'm crying or sweaty or whatever. Touch up real quick. Next thing that's in my bag is this. This is all vaginal stuff and breast stuff. Men, look away if you're watching. This goes down there, all the girls know what this is used for. But this is cool because my friend, uh, she got this for me and you just break it and it's disposable. So use it one time, you break it, it's cold, helps keep things down there cold, heal. I got two of them, so I don't know how long I'm gonna stay in the hospital. These, we all know what those are. Frida Mom Perineal Healing Foam. It's a cooling foam thing, which zip 
focusing. Yeah, okay. Which it helps cool pain relief from badge to tush. I never used it. Obviously, this is my first pregnancy, but I hear this stuff is really good. Um, I guess we'll see. There's that. And here is all my breast stuff. I got some pads, some nipple pads, boom, and some nipple cream because I hope to breastfeed. I don't think I need to explain this one. All my bathing stuff. I got myself a soap, my makeup remover wipes, a loofah, because I cannot take a shower with my hands or a towel. Like it has to be a loofah. A little shampoo and a little conditioner. I'm gonna need a shower. Next, what's in my bag? Here's some mouthwash, a little toothbrush, oh, deodorant. And my own little toothpaste. Gotta have the floss. Gotta have the floss. And my healing lotion, cocoa butter formula. My nursing bra. Already washed it, ironed it, cleaned it, tried it, everything. And then. Thanks to my mom, she bought me some cute, comfy pajamas. Like I said, I hope to breastfeed, and I hear that it's easy if you have like easy access. So these tie, oh, there we go, and untie. So, boom, and they're blue, and silk. And it comes with Cute little robe, just in case I get a little cold. But a cute little robe. And oh, some shorts. The next thing I have is a little jacket because it's starting to get a little cooler. This is my going home outfit, just in case I get cold. There's a jacket. Here's an easy slip-on dress that I got from my mother. Um, thank you, mom. And it has buttons for easy access. All about the easy access. Boom. Some Frida underwear. These are disposable. I got these because I hear and logically, I could just assume how crazy it is down there. So, you need some big underwear. You need some comfy underwear. You need some disposable underwear. These aren't meant to be cute, okay? Bam. Frida. They're kind of cute. I'll make it cute. And dark socks non-slip socks just in case I'm cold last but not least your partner's bag in my case it's my husband uh, due to COVID restrictions there's things that are new changing as of right now and my process COVID is still pretty uh, present so only one person is allowed in the room with me and that is going to be my husband, AKA baby daddy. So this is his bag. I bought it for him for his camera gear, but it's so big that he's gonna be using it for himself and baby stuff and camera gear. <laughs> so that's his job. Boom, got the little camera bag bringing our Canon vlogging little camera here with a little mini tripod stand holding thing you just connect it but this is pretty cool because 
it could turn into a little tripod since I kind of want my husband to be present with me. Um, we're gonna try to find a station, we're gonna just station this and hopefully let it run. Got extra batteries, memory cards, um, and I make sure it's wiped and cleared and charged every day because I don't know when I'm gonna go in. Could be happening right now and I'll be ready to go. But anyways, camera that I am filming on currently is also what's gonna be going in this bag. So that's it. And if it it's my husband's own bathing stuff, got him his own loofah, his own shampoo, and body and face wash, his own lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, everything that was basically the same in mine is in his. I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling, but if he's gonna be asking me where's the toothpaste stuff, where's the lotion, all this stuff, and it's in my bag, and he's wandering through there, things could get lost, whatever. I'll know if I wanna respond or whatnot. So I got us each our own stuff. So it's separated and he knows where everything is. Next, he is going to be taking this, what do you call it, fanny pack type of thing? What we have in here is some cash for some vending machines just in case uh, the snacks don't hold up and chapstick. Gotta have that ready. He'll be able to put his wallet in here, his phone, not touch anything, not have to hold anything, not remember anything. Everything essential will be in here. Some nice pajamas for him, nice and comfy. A sweater. Like I said, hospitals are meant to be cold, um, just in case he gets cold, just in case they don't give him a blanket, just in case the blanket's not warm enough, he has a sweater, just in case. Let's see, a going home outfit, he has just pants and a shirt, no, pants and short, uh, yeah, just pants and a shirt, very, very comfortable. Right here is baby stuff. Everything I'm gonna be taking for my son. They say that uh, for baby, they have basically everything. Diapers, wipes, um, hopefully if you breastfeed, that's your bottle, or they even provide bottles just in case. Um, beanie, socks, they provide it all. But they suggest, or they say, you can bring your own stuff. This right here is baby's boy's own little section. I got him a little beanie, this ties, it's pretty comfy and soft, and already washed it, already ironed it, and yeah, it's gonna be so cute. I got some socks for his little feet. I got his pacifier clip. I'm bringing his own pacifier, already washed and cleaned. Next, what I have that I'm bringing for my son is a nice um, comfy cotton burp cloth, cleaning cloth, whatever. And I know they're gonna bring, or they have their own swaddle, but I'm bringing my own swaddle, um, at least for when he's gonna go home. I want him fitted and ready to go home in his own stuff. And then, of course, a comfy little onesie and some bottoms. That's a wrap up of uh, what your partner could bring. Um, they could take care of the camera, baby stuff, and their own stuff, so. So they say you're not supposed to eat all your hospital snack in one day. That's some pretty good advice. If you take it or not, up to you. Just make sure you have a lot of extra, a lot of backup. You live down the street, and you just pick it up real quick. 
I don't know how this process goes. This is my first time. Maybe we'll see in another video how it went down. Until then, I hope you guys found this video useful. And thanks for watching.